Welcome back YouTubers, this is Chas with a quick tip on repairing electronics. This is an all tube amp that my brother gave me, said he changed out the tubes, uh, fusing back, couldn't figure out what was going on, and uh, let's take a look. Alright, with the amp opened up, I found a couple fuses on the board. Time to break out the multimeter and check these fuses. Uh, oftentimes, I'll check my fuses on the board, if, of course, if the equipment's powered down. Um, making sure I got my multimeter on in the ohms position, leads where they need to be. When you uh, are checking resistance, you should always check your lead so that you can make sure that they're they're hooked up right. Um, notice that you can't see the screen, so try to arrange it so that you can uh, see what I'm doing here. My lead resistance is about a tenth of an ohm. All right, two fuses. Fuse number one is uh, just a bit over my lead resistance. Fuse number two is about half ohm. Um, normally, I wouldn't think of anything of that, but uh, that that's a little suspect for me. It's not always great to check your fuses in circuit. There could be things that are across the fuse, you know. Let's take a look. Can't necessarily look in them all the time. Some of them are those slow blow um, ceramic fuses where you can't actually see the little fuse element itself. And um, yeah, no continuity. Sorry, it's off screen here. Didn't notice it, but no continuity across that fuse. So you can't always check um, fuse continuity while it's in circuit. And that's, uh, that's your tip for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in a new fuse. Make sure the little uh, connectors in there are nice and tight. Sometimes they get loose. Oh, that'll cause you some issues with heating or, uh, or just flat falling out. All right. Time to turn this thing on and see if it works. Alright, turn it on. She's all good. Perfect. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave comments if you have any questions.